Hi everyone, I am Dimuthu D. Lanarol from WSO2 and today we are going to discuss about claim management, configuring claims and claim dialects using WSO2 identity server. The claim management component of the identity server enables you to define set of claims for users. A claim is a piece of information about a particular subject. It can be anything that the subject is owned by or associated with such as name, group, preferences and many more. Claim provides a single and general notion to define the identity information related to the subject. A set of claims are identified as a dialect. Different dialects represent the same piece of information with different claim URIs. Currently, there are a set of available claim dialects embedded with WSO2 Identity Server. Following six dialects are the embedded ones and the first one is the default one provided by WSO2 Identity Server. The above dialects are defined by default with WSO2 Claim Management component. You can add, edit or delete different claim dialects. Basically, you can map a set of attributes from the underlying user store to a set of defined claims inside default WSO2 claim dialect. However, imagine you need to add an external claim. First, you need to associate that with a claim inside WSO2 default dialect. For an example, you have created a new claim dialect called test.org slash claims. You are going to add a claim called email under this dialect and this should be associated with email address for an example or any other claim inside WSO2 default dialect. In other words, with the current implementation, once you define a claim dialect and add a claim, you need to have a claim mapping for that claim with a claim inside default claim dialect wso2.org slash claims. So the email address claim will have a mapping with an attribute stored inside the user store you have configured. Let's try to log into the management console of the identity server in order to add a new claim dialect and also add claims for the newly created dialect. Once you log into the management console, under the main tab, go to Claims and click on Add. You will be directed to Add New Dialect Claim page. Click on Add Claim Dialect. Here, you have to provide a unique dialect URI for the new claim dialect you are going to add. For this example, I'm going to name the dialect URI as test.org slash claim. You can now see test.org slash claim has been added to the available claim dialects list. Now let's add a claim to test.org slash claims new dialect. Again, go to claims, click on add, 
we are going to add new claim as an external claim click on external claim select the direct URI give the claim URI name for example let's say role and now you have to map that to local claim that is claim under default wso.org dialect for this particular mapping I choose role as the local claim that will be mapped to the external claim of the new claim dialect click on add now you can see a claim called role has been added and it has following properties claim URI role mapped local claim http wso2.org slash claims slash role once you add a claim you can make changes using edit option or else you can simply delete the external claim you can also delete the newly added dialect available in available claim dialects page If you look at the default wso.org slash claims dialect, you'll find number of claims. Click on a claim. You'll see the claim URI, description, and the map attribute. This is where you have mapped your claim to an attribute in the underlying user store. That's all about claim dialects and adding claims.